the famous agent of the Space Patrol and is an independent agent of the Space Patrol. So it doesn't take orders from anybody, just does good all around the galaxy. Um, one could argue that it's actually his female acquaintances who actually successfully do the adventures. Well, we are playing those female acquaintances, and they are called femme babes in the rules. And um, the way the game works is there will be an extravagant adventure full of danger and chances to save the day and chances to come to terrible grief and be in a cosmic adventure um, with all sorts of aliens and planets and spaceships dangers, threats to peace and good everywhere, or whatever. Um, so you have a rating, uh, for example, if your uh, combat is going to be rated with a word for typical, good, excellent. And then there's this little chart here at the top, and the target of whatever you are doing something to or attempting also is rated in the same way. Um, most of you are familiar, are familiar with a system like this. If, if you're trying to hit somebody, you're trying to beat their combat value. If they're trying to hit you, you're trying to beat their combat value. Yeah. So it's the, you are the only people. Who, the person at the, with the most ad, ad, uh, attention stars at the end of the adventure wins. The characters are not necessarily competing. We are. There is a winner. Interestingly enough, if two people tie for winning, then that's negated and the next person found it. <laughs> <laughs> so ties are no good. Yep. You want it, right? So we have to get a little, we have to accept the, com the competition. Mm -hmm. It's positive. I'll do my best. Okay. Yes. Um, now, the book. Making up the characters is quite quick and it will give me time to do some adventure stuff. Because we were, uh, I only recently found out that we wouldn't have all the people we needed. So, mm. so this is kind of a quick yeah. film. All right. Um, so when you make up a femme babe, you would say something like uh, Yujio. The anime girl, or perhaps Cosmarina, the space girl. Would you? You don't have a ready-made character. There are several, but I, I didn't. Did. I mean, you could copy one if you wanted yes, from here. Very much, because the day okay. that I make a character half without stumbling <laughs> over something okay. isn't today. All right. Well, let's see how the other two do. Um, yeah. You get to. Um, so you will name one of these as poor, one of these as typical, and the other two as good. Okay. Body, mind, spunk is like your presence or your, your force of will and your um, determination. So body, mind, spunk, and combat, poor, poor, typical, good, put them where you want. Come up with an idea. Are you, you know, Savaja, this barbarian girl? Or See, you could be anywhere from around the galaxy. So you could even be, you know, squish your the tentacle girl. So, uh, yeah, but maybe I can just uh, read you want one? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. um, or grab uh -huh. a piece of paper and make one up if you want. Um, ah, I think it's probably easier to use a red one. Okay. Okay. It is, of course, uh, a fine day in the galaxy um, where, where on the, the on a planet well known for education, self improvement, entrepreneurship, and um, progress. So, all these planned cities and cool energy sources and academies. And public 
transit everywhere, the fine books. Um, and in one of its most up and coming universities, Jack Cosmos Space Ranger is going to give a talk, an inspiring talk. Um, and it's been a while since any of you have seen Jack, and I'm going to say that all of you are there. Um, with perhaps different priorities or different notions of what uh, you might want to do. The planet is famous for all of its recreational activities as well. Uh, it's a fine place. No one has any adventures here. Um, the people who live there have an inferiority complex and consider themselves to be boring and unlike all the rest of the galaxy. And they think everybody is cool. So, however, it's a fine place, beautiful, lots of vacation spots, um, social safety net. And in this university, um, all sorts of eager youngsters have, uh, have uh, come to see this talk by Jack Cosmos. It's been well promoted. There's a new scene there. Um, so, uh, tell me about your characters. Are you going to sit in, this is individual, uh, will you be sitting peacefully in the audience as a member of the, the adoring public? Will you be uh, seeking Jack privately um, with no interest in the event or okay. anything of the sort? So, um, Let's get or an introduction. Came around or? Who, you seem eager to tell us. So <laughs> I, I just, I just I, I had can, an idea. I, can, like, I, can, I feel your idea. Um, <laughs> so. Like uh, the chairs, uh, signet chairs, simple chairs without um, arm rests. I think she would turn around the chair and sit on the chair with a back rest mm -hmm. forward mm -hmm. and then whistling on two fingers mm -hmm. to get somebody's um, attention. Okay. Well, everybody's waiting for Jack at this point, the uh, the presenter. So he's not there? Not, no. Oh, uh, okay. Right. And so, uh, well... Then I'll keep the whistle until he shows up. I would say that this is an auditorium, so therefore most of the, cell, the chairs are padded, fixed in place, and do have arms and stuff. But since the demand was so high, they've brought in extra chairs. Uh, there may be a little discussion with the fire marshal going on at the back, but there are, have been folding chairs that are, and other chairs have been brought in for the overflow, and you have one of those. That's good. Yep. Oh, and oh, this is Calamity the Cowgirl, if I'm not yep. mistaken. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I stand at the, at the side with a platter. Full of cheese and mm. coconuts. Okay. Oh, oh Lord, it's on a mm. big silver tray and placed on a on a on a, on a rolling uh, what are you called? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm to say rolling table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to. You're ready to serve. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just swoop yeah. in. Now that's oh, oh okay. Mm. Uh, anyone else? I'll just sit in the audience. Who? Are, what girl? Are we, what? Who is your femme? Uh, my girl, my girl is uh, uh, cybernetic. <laughs> ah, well, it, it has mm. a robot arm. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. The cyber girl. Yeah, yeah. This, what, what's her name? Um, Gaika. Aha. Uh -huh. ah, it's just nice. just the name. Perfect. Oh, yeah, Gaika, the cyber girl. That's it. And so, um, you could write so, that across the top. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that I might. Like some cheese, so I do I, can I have some cheese? No, it, it's for just for you. And who is uh, who is your um, uh, so I'm spiky, uh, and I look like a hedgehog, <laughs> like a humanoid right. hedgehog. Aha, yeah. aha, the hedgehog girl, yeah, okay, would be very rude with the cheese cube on one of the spikes. Um, yeah, so that's something to look. <laughs> okay, well, there's several, there are several things that work here. Um, we have uh, we have several things that work here. First of all, 
um, the fire marshal spotting the movement of the chair into a position that is even less safe <laughs> than what he was already objecting to. Um, and the fire marshal is a, a person with, uh, uh, let's see, everybody on this planet. Well, they are perfectly human except for the, her either. And the, this, this person comes to you and explains that here on this planet, you see, we take safety very seriously. And, oh, so do I. Um, and so you're going to move, move. I'll just move this. I'll just move this over and starts to try and move you and the chair. No chat. Got it. All right. So how are you resisting? Are you going to uh, attempt to overawe them? Are you going to attempt to forcefully hold your ground and just not, call not particularly sure. no but i'm just going to uh, press my feet into the ground so he has difficulties mm -hmm. and we can see him who's stronger i think okay um you're trying to actually do something a little sneaky here yeah why not <laughs> um it's probably a mind could be spunk, <laughs> could be mind. Let's do mind. Okay. <laughs> or mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> decisions is a bit poor as well. So. And also, um, actually, it should go the other way around. Okay. Your action should just be fixed and you're defending against it, unless you want cheese on your spot. Yeah, all right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just the cell is right. Um, and so that would be mind for noticing. So that makes more yeah. sense. So just hold one moment because you have a role as well. Mm -hmm. Just want to see if anyone else has, has a role. Mm -hmm. um, the catering has already been attended to um, and you are suddenly confronted with that wretched intern planetary conglomerate catering service that gets the uh, the cheap cheese from yeah, the exploited yeah, yeah, yeah. laborers oh, yeah, yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is uh, and and even worse, uh, you know, promotes themselves. They even give seminars of their own about you know cheese and stuff. All of which are uh, this makes my blood boil. Yeah, I'm actually laid back and easy going, but not in this case. Oh, so no bonus for easy going. No, 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 this time. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. So you are being confronted, and yeah. the this this is a, a blobby alien of, of yellowish yeah. tones and and um they and oh and, they, and you know for a fact that they have no sense of taste and they claim <laughs> to be these experts yeah. so you have a representative there who says we've been contracted for this there's you know this is inappropriate so there's there's bustle going on you're there by the stage and you're, you know, you, you guys are in the, the corridor, you know, between the seats or along the side, and you're relaxing in the middle, wondering perhaps where Jack is, because you can see that the person up there, there, there seems to be a bit of a discussion. Somebody looks at the microphone, or the space age microphone, whatever it is, and hurriedly turns it off. Do you want to get an idea of what they might be saying up there? There seems to be up yeah, on the stage so. where, the, well, you were a bit busy. I'm seeing about you because you're the one who's sitting in the audience with nothing to do. Yeah, exactly. You're the one who would be actually have the, the bandwidth to, to notice this. Oh. So, yeah, I uh, just casually stroll over to the stage. Just to hear. Uh -huh. Okay, so the uh, let, we are not in combat, but I played it so that all of us came to a point of rolling. Mm -hmm. And so we'll treat it in order, just so you know how the order works when yeah. we are in some more physical situation. So, uh, highest mind? And I'm lower. <laughs> not me. Okay, <laughs> good. Okay, um, and so... Uh, if two fem babes are tied, you just choose. Um, okay. or, or there will be a luck point yeah. to resolve it if there's an issue with that. Um, or uh, if 
you have a tie with some other character, then they just always go first. Mm -hmm. So, who's going first? And, uh, mm -hmm. and, oh, and I should have told you what your, um, I should have told you. Good against. Yeah, so you've got a good, and, and yes, and your mind is poor. Yep. So, therefore, um, just made it. Well, let's see. So, you're good, good yeah. and you need to beat a poor. So five, and you, you just yeah, made just it, made it. right. Yeah. So you don't get a degree of success or anything, but yeah. you, mm -hmm. you, you, you'll, you'll notice in a bit, I don't know if you want to act on this or not, mm -hmm. but right now, I'm the same character um, it has, has suddenly been uh, accosted, and you say, by some other person, and it's very distracting. Um, so, who has the next mind? We're both. Uh, all right. Right. Okay. So, uh, I'm stealing some sheets. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, I can see you guys are, are being uh, are being a little petty here, but that's okay. Why not? Jesus. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, so, the two dice. Well, let's get the target number. So, this is um, this is pretty typical. I mean, you're this is a typical task. There's no reason to make this exceptionally difficult. And so it's good against difficult, so it's going to be uh, six or higher. Oh. Oh. oh, you can't hear them. Um, but at this point, they are starting to get a little bit frantic and starting to call, you know, to people. You know, one of the, one of them pushes the other toward the microphone and runs off as if to deal with some kind of emergency. And the person at the microphone is going like this, trying to decide what to say. Um, so, are you going to? I, I will. Okay. okay. All right. And now, the, which of you wants to go first? You want to go first? I can. Okay. Let's let's find out. I'll tell you that this is a typical task. What's your body? Uh, typical. Okay. So that's going to be seven or ten. That's an A. Excellent. So no degrees of success, but you do succeed in uh, uh, holding your. It's right. a little tug of war. Right, right. You well know you, you're succeeding. Oh. Right. So you. Cool. Okay, then I don't even smile. Right. Um, and so so far so good. I'm just giving him, him my peace of mind and holding his cheese for them to tell him. And, such. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let's see. Uh, I'm just checking to see if any. Spunk or. Yeah, it is definitely spunk. It's pretty yeah, easy. We want to use your Okay. Um, it is. Right. In that <laughs> case, I'll drop the I'll drop the opposition from good to typical. Yes. So it's typical on typical. So that's seven or higher. Nope. No. Just me. Okay. Um, so the, the the you are not getting any of <laughs> this particular approach, um, but all of this organizational chaos that is happening here and here um, may lead the uh, disgruntled security oriented order oriented schedule agenda contract oriented people who you just don't want offended. Um, they they may feel the need to call them some. And so, yes, the, the, you can see um, the, this obviously spiteful person, you know, after snubbing you, will go off and will uh, be seen consulting with uh, an official person. And the fire marshal has come up and is talking to that same official person. So, and meanwhile, no Jack. Um, the uh, the person at the microphone is saying, uh, "May I have your attention?" But of course, the microphone has been turned off, so therefore, there's a little bit of a delay until they figure out that they need to turn it back on. And um, and at the moment, you know, you, you've got a piece of cheese. I didn't think a roll was. <laughs> she was <laughs> distracted. <laughs> so you're enjoying it, yeah. and um, and then. Uh, I would like to know 
what next? There's there seems to be no Jack, basically. Mm. The, the person finally gets the microphone working and, and says, "There will be a <coughs> there will be a little delay. Uh, Captain Cosmos is attending to." Uh, private concerns, uh, and then she realizes that doesn't sound good, and says, "Is is uh, uh, solving problems for us all? Is uh, and, and he'll be here in." And then leans back and looks desperately toward off stage. Um, and so you guys are getting the idea that that all is not well. 